<clears throat> hey guys, so I think we have Becker CPA. I'm sorry, Ro Becker CPA is working for sure, but I think we have Roger CPA videos now, which you need to watch the videos before you um, watch the, or try the Quizlets. And so the way this is going to work, and yours may look a little bit different than mine, just because I'm looking at it from the instructor view, but you'll have the options I have. I just may have more options. And so you'll have your dashboard here. Um, give it some time to load. I'm out of town right now, and I don't have great internet, but it'll work. Okay. So... Um, this menu is kind of your guide, so you're going to go to your course outline, and in your course outline, you should have all the videos. Now, some of mine have been viewed, and some of them haven't. So the first one we're doing is BEC7. So you'll go down here to BEC7, and there are 13 videos, and you're going to watch each of these. And so let's this first video, Information Technology Role in Business, and um, you've got some options here. You know, you can read through this. You can take notes from this. You can follow along as Roger lectures. Um, you're looking for things that were not familiar to you before and then you're you're going to want to watch the videos and I take notes as I watch the videos. I outline and um, okay, let's talk that way about if there's a concept I know where to IT. go back. This section is anywhere from 15 to 19 percent. We talked about this in the audit exam and it's tested there but not as heavily tested. There we're looking more about all And as you can see, Roger talks a lot about the CPA exam, but that's not the purpose. What we're trying to do is learn a little bit about information technology by using the software. And so, for example, he talks about different computer systems, management information systems, decision support systems, expert systems, executive support information systems, and analytical processing uh, systems. Then he talks about the system development life cycle, which um, you may have seen possibly in an auditing course if you've had one, or business information management if you've had that, or maybe a uh, computer class. But anyway, you can kind of skim down through here and then talks about cloud approaches. Computing, of course. How do you go through and how do you audit? And time requirements are getting less and less and less because of the fact that all of this stuff exists. A lot of it, especially as they say, you know, on the shelf, off the shelf software. Transaction processing. <clears throat> this talks about how do we get the information into the system. Now, okay, so after you watch this video, then um, you'll go back and I think. Yeah, you can click next. They've added some new features. Um, so you can click next and go to the next video and watch that. So these are all BEC section seven and they're all about information technology. <clears throat> when you are done watching all the videos, what you're going to do next is go to this interactive practice questions option. And basically what you're going to do is make your own quiz. And so you're going to click start a new quiz and this, I'm going to leave that to you. You can look at questions you haven't seen before. You can look at questions you've answered incorrectly. You can look at questions you've skipped. I'm indifferent on how you do that. Um, but you'll want to choose BEC7. Click Next. If, if you're not looking at BEC, if you're looking at auditing, for example, the drop down is right here to change sections. But we're in BEC. And then you're going to choose, and I'll always tell you how many questions to choose. You're going to choose 30 multiple choice and one written. Click next. And um, <clears throat> I would have explained answers here. You can also do score as you go so you can see what's going on. I would leave the timer just because I think it helps you get in a good habit of answering questions efficiently. So then you'll begin your quiz. And don't be shocked if you don't know the answers to many of these. You'll learn as you go along. And um, so it asks which of the following classifications of security and controls include smoke detectors, generators, security guards, and ID badges. Pretty sure that's physical. Um, and I don't think I've got mine set. But say you didn't know the answer. You can click this um, right here and it'll give you some hints on a new tab and you can scroll down through there and you can find the answer so that's one way to do it I think that's a good way to learn 
Um, you may feel comfortable that you know the answer. If that's the case, then go ahead and go to next. Um, and I made 100. I got that one right, so that's good. And then I go to my next question. And so when you get done, you'll submit your Quizlet. And I will see your grades and your attempts um, and so forth as you go along. And so in my instructions, I tell you down here on BEC7, I'm getting ready to make all of these available to you. As you after you complete the videos, create a quiz with written communication. Um, make sure that you uh, do this three times. So you're going to do three quizzes for this section, 30 multiple choice, one communication. And what I'm looking for is an improvement in your score. If you make a 0, 0, 0 or a 18, 18, 18, then I'm not going to see that you are trying. Um, what I'm looking for is an improvement in your score and evidence of you learning. And so if you have any questions, let me know. But that's how all of these are going to work in Roger. And then when you jump over to Becker, which I'll probably put in a different video, it's just going to be a straight Quizlet. And at that point, again, you should be very familiar with the material. Um, and I'll have this posted all semester, so if you have questions, you can go back and, and check. Thank you.